Hey, what's up? It's Z here from S&P Gym down in Stockport. Now, here's Martin. Before Martin joined S&P, he was, had this preconceived idea that the gym would be full of people with big egos and maybe even guys taking things like steroids. Um, another problem for Martin was that he just felt that because he was training with his, his friends at his local commercial gym, that the programs really kind of lacked the guidance, the instruction, the structure, and Martin didn't really have any definitive goals to where he wanted to get to. Also, another problem with Martin was that his nutrition, his lifestyle was all over the place. So you'd regularly find Martin chugging down five or six beers um, every single night. Here's Martin's video. Go check it out right now. Please, can you tell me your name, age and occupation? Yeah, um, my name's Martin Hager. Uh, I am 38 years old, although you won't think it, would you really? <laughs> um, and no. My occupation is uh, I'm a BIM manager for Siemens. Ah, I always wondered what you did. Now I know. Um, before you joined S&P, tell me what sort of training you did. Um, oh, well, um, I used to be a member of a, a commercial gym. Mm -hmm. um, I would I would go there, you know, four or five times a week. Sometimes even six times a week. Um, do various things. Um, training was was okay. Mm -hmm. um, it was, you know, I was, I was doing my main lifts, um, was getting decent numbers with them, mm -hmm. um, but it was just a bit stagnant. There was mm -hmm. no, um, I didn't have much drive, you know, it was easy for me to, you know, wake up on a Monday morning and think, actually, do you know what? I'm still a bit tired, I'll stay in bed. And I think that's the, uh, you know, that's one of the, one of the problems with, uh, with being at a commercial gym, mm -hmm. you know, that was, uh, and that was one of my downfalls was, you know, you, you could go, you know, five or six times a week, but I wasn't really, nothing was really planned. I wasn't really, you know, following any set routines. Mm -hmm. um, so it just, uh, it, it wasn't, it wasn't enjoyable. It was more like a chore. Right. Okay. So what, so what was the reason why you joined S&P? What about us was different? Um, well, first off, um, I mean, I'd not really, um, I'd not really heard of S&P um, up until couple of weeks before I joined. Um, I wasn't on um, any social media or anything like that um, and I saw um, a good friend of mine who's, um, who was training here um, and he um, told me where he was training, what he was doing and I looked at him and I was just like, you know, you're a different person, I've not seen you for, mm -hmm. you know, sort of four weeks and I couldn't believe the difference and that made me think, do you know what? I could do with a bit of that, mm -hmm. you know, if, if he can do it, then, you know, I can do it. So, yeah. um, I, I sort of, uh, I asked him and, you know, got the contact details and, mm -hmm. you know, and I think I got a phone call from, uh, from you one, uh, one Monday night and, uh, and then the rest is, uh, the rest is history. So, and you were a non Facebooker and now I'll say you're probably one of the number one Facebook freaks of S and P are you now? Facebook pest, I think. Pest. That's what I like that. Facebook pest. There's it's... actually there's actually many more who are more <laughs> pesty than uh, than me. Okay, but from being you didn't want to join at all, but do you think that if you'd have still been a member of S and P without Facebook, do you think it would have been a slightly different sort of interaction, or do you think it's improved the experience? Yeah, I think it's um, it's probably a necessity really because it's the, the whole sort of community. Um, you know everything's done through um, through Facebook. You know you, you make um, you make friends with people on Facebook. You know you might not know them um, too much. You know you might not train with them, mm -hmm. but you know you become quite friendly with people mm -hmm. just through the interaction on mm -hmm. uh, on Facebook and the, the groups. You know talking about you know things like food, talking about training. Mm -hmm. You know just people um, commenting on the sessions. Yeah. You know if if you've not if you've not on Facebook then, you know, it's, uh, what have you been doing? Well, like, what mate. have you been doing before <laughs> well, then? No, that's it. But yeah. the camaraderie is good on, on, the, on there, isn't it? I would say that it helps you with the interaction in the gym as well, really. Absolutely. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, so with regards to you, and I'm sure you're going to say you had no fears, but what fears did you have before joining s and um, I don't know. I, I, I mean, I, I think I had a fear that there was, you know, going to be quite a lot of egotistical sort of people, mm -hmm. um, you know, you go into any sort of commercial gym and you see, you know, guys that are, uh, you know, obviously using performance enhancing uh, 
substances and things like that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I was just sort of, you know, I was worried at first that there might be, you know, it might be like that, but it's, you know, yeah. it's nothing. I don't think, you know, it's not tolerated. Um, and there's, you know, there's no one that's, uh, that's, that's like that here. No. So tell me about what you struggled with before S&P. Um, nutrition, mm -hmm. um, too much alcohol, um, not enough focus on, um, on the actual content of, of the training that I was doing. Um, it, it's all well and good going to the gym and saying, do you know what, Monday I'm going to do chest, Tuesday I'm going to do shoulders and things like that, but there's no, there no real structure and you found yourself, you know, if someone's on a bit of equipment that you want to use, well, you'd end up sort of skipping it mm -hmm. um, and, and moving on to something else. So I think that was the, the lack of structure to my training was 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 quite an issue. Yeah. Um, and you know the nutrition side of it, um, I'm one of those people that you know I like my food. You know I do like my food. I'm not going to lie about that. Um, but it was just it was wrong. I was eating the wrong things at the wrong time. Mm -hmm. um, my the actual food that I eat now mm -hmm. hasn't differed that much but I know when to eat it right and that's been a massive a massive thing yeah. um, I can still eat loads mm -hmm. but I eat the right food at the right time and it's and it's fine and alcohol um, you know most blokes love a beer I would get in from work on a Friday and I could quite easily sit there and drink some sort of five or six beers mm -hmm. and do the same on a Saturday and a Sunday now I might have one or two, you know. I'm not. I'm not an angel. Uh, I do enjoy having a beer, but I don't go. I don't go overboard. Right. And you know, I think that's made a massive difference as well. So, if you look back at yourself before S and P compared to now, like how do you think it, you you felt then? Like looking back, the, the alcohol, the wrong foods, the wrong training. How did it affect you then? Um. Well, the thing was, I, I wasn't. I wasn't really that happy with, um, you know, with myself, mm. with um, with how I was training, um, you know, my lifestyle. It wasn't it wasn't great, mm -hmm. but you know, I wouldn't say I was I was unhappy with it. What I will say is that you know, when I look back at it now, um, sort of eight nine months on, mm -hmm. it, it's such a massive difference. Yeah. I feel you know, I feel much more confident. Mm -hmm. um, I feel. Um, much more content mm -hmm. you know I think it's it's improved you know everything you know mm -hmm. the whole sort of family life um, it, I just feel a million times better than uh, than I did this time last year for instance mm -hmm. I think you've touched upon my next question as well is like what experience you've you sorry what results you've experienced since joining and obviously you've, you've explained sort of the, the side effects of being at the gym but tell me about like your actual like you say you've, you've gone on to strong because you were on the fit originally What's what's changed? Like how how much stronger have you got? Tell me about some of your PBs that you've achieved. Um, yeah, I mean it, it, it was one of those. That I think um, when I moved on to to strong, mm -hmm. um, I knew after the first couple of sessions that um, if I actually listened and took on board what the coaches were saying to me, mm -hmm. that they could improve um, the numbers that I was I was lifting. Um, I was. Before, um, I was quite happy with, with where I was going with things like deadlifts and, and squats, but my bench press had always been something that was really um, weak. And, you know, it, it was one of my goals, one of my initial goals was to, um, was to increase my numbers on, mm -hmm. on, on bench. And, you know, after the first couple of sessions, a few tips, um, and, you know, the numbers have shot right up. Got it. So, you know, within sort of four weeks, I'd put another sort of 25 kilos onto onto that um, you know d deadlifts I was um, I was doing I was doing quite well with those um, I was always quite happy with with what I was uh, lifting but then come uh, the last heavy week mm -hmm. that we did um, I totally and utterly amazed myself by yeah. you know putting on another 45 kilos to, to what I was actually expecting to lift that day so right. it was um, and it, it, it's little things there um, Again, um, Sean especially, um, you know, he was really uh, quite not not hard on me, but he was um, he was trying everything he could to to improve my mobility, mm. um, especially my hips. Uh, so you know, this is how you're going to improve, and 
it, it works. You know, mm -hmm. you've got a um, one of the other guys that I train with who's been here for for quite a while um, said to me, you know, you've got to trust the system, mm -hmm. listen to what they say, and as soon as you take that on board and you do trust the system, it works. Yeah, and it works for me. Fab, good. So tell me what S and P means to you. Um, it, it, it's a difficult one to describe because it's um, it's become it's actually become a massive part of, of my life. Um, you know, the, the the mornings that I train, you know, the night before, I'm thinking about what I'm going to be doing at training. Yeah. You know, seeing the people, um, you know, having a laugh. It's actually become um, a massive massive part. It's I think it's. Um, it's improved me as a person as well. Mm -hmm. um, I really do think that effect. You know, it's uh, um, you know being more supportive of people um, and you know, just helping people as well. Mm -hmm. You know, I think uh, the, the the amount of teamwork um, is it, it, it's unbelievable. Mm. I agree. And um, just tell me how it's helped you as well. So, what are your like major major breakthroughs? Do you think? I know you've touched upon it before, but say, would you say? Nutrition is a major breakthrough for you, like Absolutely. massively. Absolutely. I mean, nu nutrition, um, you know, it's um, like I'm saying, it, it's taught me what to eat and, and when to eat. Um, Sean said to me, um, you know, I don't want you to cut down what you're eating. Mm -hmm. uh, you just got to eat it at the right times. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that anyone who's read the level one manual and takes on board the advice in the level one manual, mm -hmm. you know, can't go wrong. Yep. And that was, you know, a big sort of step for me was, 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 was getting that bit sussed. And um, once you've done that, it really helps. Mm -hmm. And t please tell me just why do you think S&P is different to anywhere else? Why is it different to anywhere else? Because there's no way you can go and the, and the owner's uh, singing beautifully at six o'clock in the morning. Oh, Z is a, Z is a beautiful singer. <laughs> yes, he is. It's true. Um, Where else would you get that? No. Um, why is it different? I mean, it, it, the list is endless. It's, you know, you, you've got, everything's laid out for you. The structure's all in place. You know, um, the, looking at your nutrition, um, looking at your training, mm -hmm. um, your, you know, your, your mindsets as well. You know, it's it's... You don't get this in commercial gyms. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it, it's it's a community, um, and you know everyone that's in there helps each other. Everyone's you know knows each other. You know, becomes friends. You know, you could walk into any commercial gym and you could go and do your workout for an hour, not speak to a soul. Mm -hmm. I mean, how many times can anyone come into here and and not speak to anyone? Can't get you know, away with that you, here. You can't. No. It's, uh, and I think having that that team ethic really helps people you know someone could be struggling the way through a, a session um and all it takes is is somebody else to just give them a bit of a you know a pick me up you know everyone's got their own troubles going on in and out of the the uh, the gym and um you know usually people just leave them at home and mm -hmm. you know get everyone else through cool and just finally what would you say to someone considering joining s p you've just got to do it you know, just take take that leap. If you you know, if, if you want to make progress and you're determined to get somewhere with your with your health, with your fitness, with your strength, you know, your nutrition, um, and you want to improve as a as a person, then you've got to give it a try. Mm -hmm. It's um, it, it's amazing what it will do. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Cool. Love it. Thank you very much. Cool. Put it there. Well done. Okay, so there's a proof. You've heard it straight from the horse's mouth there. Martin's clearly made great strides and really kind of made great efforts in changing his lifestyle and nutrition. If you've watched this video now and anything's kind of struck a chord with you and perhaps you'd like to kind of maybe experience some of the things that Martin's experienced on our programme, then have a look around on this page. Somewhere you'll find a link to an application form. Click on that, fill out the details, and we'll be back in touch with you very, very soon to have a little chat through and see if we can really take you from where you are right now, maybe struggling with certain things, to where you'd like to be in the future. Okay, so check it out right now, click on the link. It's Z here from s Gym Stockport, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.